Declaring a Truce, Understanding Peaceful Resolutions in English. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, declare a truce. This expression is not only interesting but also carries a rich historical and cultural significance. By understanding it, you'll not only expand your vocabulary but also gain insight into how English speakers talk about conflict resolution and peace. Let's dive in. Declare a truce refers to the act of agreeing to stop fighting or arguing for a certain period. The word truce is synonymous with a temporary pause in conflict, not a permanent end. It's like pressing a pause button in a heated situation. The term is often used in both literal and figurative contexts. Originally, it was used in the context of wars and battles, but now, it's also common in everyday situations like arguments or competitions. To better appreciate this phrase, let's take a brief look at its historical roots. Truces have been a part of human history for centuries. They were crucial during wars, providing both sides with a moment of respite. Famous truces, like the Christmas truce during World War I, show how even in the darkest times, humanity can find moments of peace and camaraderie. In everyday English, declare a truce is often used metaphorically. For example, if two friends are arguing but decide to pause their disagreement to enjoy a movie together, they could be said to have declared a truce. It's a versatile phrase that can be used in various contexts, from light-hearted disagreements to more serious debates. Let's look at some examples. 1. After hours of debate, the committee decided to declare a truce and resume discussions tomorrow. 2. The siblings declared a truce and stopped fighting over the video game. Now, try to create your own sentences using, declare a truce. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, declare a truce, and how it can be applied in different contexts. Remember, language is not just about words, but the history and culture they carry. Stay curious, and keep learning. See you in our next video.